Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Yesterday, Hank and I were out for a walk, and I'm going to show you, it could have gotten deadly yesterday, because Hank is a very energetic dog, and as you can see, he just likes running. So, yesterday, I take him up toward the front garden, and I'm going to show you what happened. I did not get it on film. Um, it was kind of traumatic because Danny was on the backfield. I was walking Hank, and usually we keep him in the backyard, uh, but we've got our whole place fenced across the front and the back and all around all perimeters so that he can get out. And we're starting to let him go more so that he can just roam everywhere. We walk all, all, all along the backfields and stuff and across the front yard quite often. But yesterday it got a little hairy and luckily it turned out okay but there was a few panic moments hank and i usually come from this way and we come up the road here sometimes we go in the back and go all around through there but yesterday we came up here and this is usually our way to go is to come right here and go down our driveway and i go down this way toward the house and he always follows but yesterday as I walked this way Hank was running around and I got down here to this end and Hank had turned around and went back and if you see this fence this is one of the little net fences we had to keep the turkeys and the rabbits out of our garden he went back and went around this way, the back side of it. Okay, I'm down here. And he gets into the fence. Let me see if I can bring it up. On the back side here. He tried to jump it. And when he didn't, his head went through a hole. He started jumping and running. He tangled it all the way back to here he was tangled like 10 times his head his feet and everything he was all into our garden here you can see he plowed up some rows over here he plowed up some stuff i mean he was really doing some damage to our crops but he was literally tangled his head was tangled like five or six times his feet several eight or ten times because he kept tangling and jumping i couldn't get to him fast enough to stop him and Danny was on the tractor on the back hill and didn't see it. I had to go across this fence and get to him over here. By the time I got to him, I had to talk him down, calm him down. And I didn't have the camera rolling, so there is no film. And in a crisis situation, you're not going to be filming everything. If you are, it's not that big of a crisis, I think. I threw the camera down, calmed him down, and started unlayering him one piece of cord at a time this fencing is not on but it's an electric fence but we didn't have it on because of, of the turkeys they just kind of knew to keep out once they got to it his head would go through this he would twist and tangle and go back through another one so i had to literally take one at a time and this is nylon cord it's not given so if he had kept on he could have strangled himself because of the amount of times he was tangled in it if he had been out here by himself, he just would have been here. It would have either strangled him or he had laid here all night. That's one reason. These fences can be dangerous for an active dog. It can be dangerous for any type of animal that, you know, gets in and out. Um, this one, if it was electrified, it probably would have been even worse because he would have been jumping even more. But right now, it's just simply... A preventative fence for us around our garden so these fences can be dangerous guys I don't know I've not heard anybody talking about them everybody's using them I like them for what they're for to keep things out of my garden but for Hank this could have been deadly so these type electric fences are okay for what you need them for chickens things like that I guess but active dogs mm -mm. So I've got to watch Hank. We're trying to teach him to run the property, but I've got to make sure he doesn't get in here at night when he's by himself and get into this fence. Um, 
right now he's only out when I'm out and I take him watch him or when Danny's out we've been taking turns letting him go and keeping him in the backyard the back pasture things like that but this is a danger point and we needed to know that um, kind of panicked me yesterday Danny came up just as I was untangling the last little bit and helped me finish untangling thank goodness Hank was very calm for a very active dog he didn't try to bite he um when I told him to be still, he was very still. He didn't try to jump and run because if he had of it, it would have made it worse and it would have strangled him. So, Hank's okay. Hank vlogs will continue for now as long as he stays out of my fence. So guys, this, this is just kind of a heads up on these fences and active animals. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.